Swag, bitch. So I'm doing work on lifting the front end of the sears. And this is what I got so far for it. Two 45 degree angles. And then bent this top. So I think they'll work pretty well. They're both symmetrical. Both are going to get welded here, but not yet. Because this is what I'm welding to right here. I have all that. Hoping I can just fit it right over top of this little ledge. And then ta weld it tack to a couple tacks. Make sure it's level. Make sure everything's good. And then weld the rest of the shit out of it. Should work. So, crush fingers and hope. Well, so far, I think it's going good. Now this is my new drop axle for the front of the uh, thing. Yes, it's a lot thicker. I gotta figure out how I'm putting the bottom on. But that's the other one I did. A little bit more goobered up. But I'm pretty positive that that's gonna hold. That one looks beautiful though. Right there, guys. Here it is, all welded up. Here's like the full picture of it. I don't know if I like it, but it it's symmetrical. I measured it. It's all level and even and stuff, so we should be pretty good. Hope I'm not overthinking this damn thing because I hate overthinking shit. It sucks. My welds are decent. I haven't welded that yet. I'm going to get to weld that. But, yeah. You can see I took the original one, but I'm hoping this is enough space for that that little clevis hook to go into. If not, I'll have to grind it out and start over again. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping, hoping. Well there guys, it's all done up, it's all painted, all the welds are perfectly done. But now, my from tie rod to tie rod, I have 31. That's only 25, so that's gonna have to be extended. I should have cut these off and put them in further, but I didn't, so. It's whatever, it's a learning process. I'll see how it runs works with that if not I just cut these off cut them off and push them in more maybe not sure but who knows I'm probably gonna try to save these other ones but right now I'm gonna go look at another tractor see if I can get something that's long enough and that's not welded solid because these are welded solid I thought these were turned but they're well solid so let me see if I can get something else and then fix that up but yeah, that's the gray color that we're going with. Uh, forget it's the uh, gloss machine gray. Looks pretty good. Looks better than the yellow that they have originally on here. So I'm gonna try to get it all painted, but who knows if I get there. But she's coming along slowly but surely. Hopefully tonight I can get that thing in there and get her welded up and get the wheels back on her. So yeah. All right. So we got the front end in. Looks pretty good. Didn't hook up a plow yet or anything, but it's level now. But this side, for some reason, this tire is so far out of whack. Even though if you look at this side, this tire is still in a little bit. So this is definitely going to have to get cut down and moved over again. Even though I did paint it and everything. Um, it's weird looking. You get right up on top of it and that looks like it's shooting out so far. But uh, tie rod ends, I had to ex extend this one, so that one's fine. This one, I was in a rush, so I boogered it up together. But so far, I tested it a little bit the way it is. Yes, I know, dangerous. Um, but the only thing I can tell is nothing has cracked, nothing has uh, succeeded, no paint chips yet. Eventually, sooner or later. Um, but I just need to get this one over more because that is bad. That is very bad. I don't know why that is so far out of whack. It's the same size pieces, but I'm just going to have to cut that one down again and move it in. Maybe I'll measure that one and measure that one and see what's wrong with that one. Because this one seems bent, so that's why I'm thinking it might be bigger. But I'm not sure. But yeah, she looks... Uh, she looks really good. Haven't done a wheelie with her yet, but we'll try that some other time. 
Um, new thing is that the rear on this side, I think the washer's gone. So I might have to get a new washer. If somebody can point me in the direction of a new washer, I would appreciate it. Um, I gotta put a trickle charger on the battery tonight. So I can charge that up so it can start with that. And then I have to get the other key switch and start swapping plugs over to the um, other one. Because um, I built the custom dash in here. Yeah, it's not the prettiest, but it works. And then probably get a new light switch. Because I um, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm thinking, I'm depending on putting underglow under this. I'm not sure. Probably just a little bit. But yeah, that's the hood, what it looks like, a little bit wet. It's gloss black with uh, machine gray. Machine gray looks good. Um, hit my girl up. She makes her own stickers. So, locally, nobody. Um, Jeepers Creepers, of course. And then you got this piece over here. I painted it all as one. I should have painted it separate because this part comes off for the attachment of the snow blower or some other attachment. But I'm not worried about that. So, yeah. That's how it turned out, guys. I mean, it looks it looks pretty mean right now, but I have to get that one fixed. Most definitely has to be coming a little bit. So, we'll figure that out soon. Alrighty. I will talk to you guys so, later. The great thing is two heads are better than one. My buddy Vinny uh, gave me a hand with this uh, the night I was trying to figure out how to drop the axle. And uh, his suggestion was to put it in between, like, setting it inside of itself, like bolting it together. And I said, no, I said, if I make it like a quarter to an eighth thicker to stick out and then I can slide a piece of pipe over top of it, that would be better so that's what I did um, using quarter inch and then it's getting well three sixteenths metal um, it's not the thickness I wanted to use but it's what I had to work with um, to bend those tabs over in the beginning of the video it sucked it really did suck I was hoping they didn't snap because they stayed together pretty well but it just Taking a sledgehammer and really wailing on it was the only way I was getting it down. I first took the piece and I slammed it. That was really good for my arms, but slammed it down to a piece of wood and kept going and going and it finally went. And I took a sledgehammer and beat him over the rest of the way. Um, the wheels stuck out. They need to be narrowed in closer together because of uh, tie rod end issues. Tie rods, I'm probably going to take some uh, 3 8 th uh, three eighths pipe or 3 8 uh, rod and do it because I don't want to do all thread because all thread just looks nasty underneath there. Um, but I also want it thicker so that way I can screw it on and so it's a little bit more tough. But it's, a, it's tractor steering, so I mean, it's not really getting abused like a car would. It's not holding a couple thousand pounds. But yeah, um, the thing pops wheelies no problem now. I'm thinking about getting a gas pedal instead of just doing throttle pedal this way. Because gas might be might be better. Because I'd be gas with my right and clutch with my left. Clutch and brake. Which I need to figure out why my brakes ain't working that well. I might have to loosen them or tighten them. I think I might have to loosen them a couple notches, but not sure. Um... But yeah, a lot of overthinking with this whole lifting process. I mean, if anybody has any better suggestions to lift it and also still use the front end, uh, I'm all ears. Um, yes, it looks like the front end is angled, but it's actually not. So I, I don't, I don't know how it's supposed to be, or if it's just you know somebody rammed into it or whatever. But I do have another front end if I need to replace this one. Uh, and then hood alignment, I'll mention that now because it'll be the next video. I have to take the gas tank off. I have to take the muffler off. I took already off the carburetor cap and dremeled it out around it. So that way I could slide it to it and be done with it. Um, don't know if they make another cap piece for that. But if they do, I might have to get it eventually. 
But, um, you know, so, because eventually I'm going to put a snorkel on it, I think, if I get, if I get everything properly in here correct. Um, electrical will be done next with the hood alignment. Uh, just takes a long process and a long while. So, I'm hoping it goes fairly, fairly decent. But, if it doesn't, well, then I'm sitting here thinking again. But, uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Appreciate everybody tuning in, and I will see you in the next one. Oh, and probably my next video is going to be a sad one, but it's going to be a realistic one. Uh, so I do apologize for that one. So, if you guys stay tuned for the next one, it'll probably be the big gay astrologer. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Have a great and beautiful night, and I will see you in the next one. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.